Hello, it's Jason with Hardy Life Outdoors. I am at home. We are looking at the pool project and uh, progress continues. Um, we just finished, what was it, stage four and we got the inspections after that. So everything's a go with our trench inspection. So everything is trenched. Uh, next, we're getting into stage five and six and we've got some things going on where I think these are kind of bleeding over with each other. Because I'm doing the pool and a pavilion at the same time, um, and we're locating uh, the pavilion um, and putting uh, mechanicals out by it, um, we're kind of mixing some things back and forth to make that happen correctly. So what's happened, um, if you can see behind me, you can see cones, they came in and trenched in the gas line. So gas comes out the side of the house here, they've trenched it around to the pool. They'll use the perimeter of the pool as uh, the trench to get the gas line all the way out to the pavilion. Um, so that's in place. We'll walk back through and look at it. But the things that we're expecting over the next couple days, um, the guys are showing up tomorrow. They're going to start back filling the pool. This is where we get into phase five and six. Uh, I believe they're going to do, be doing some bonding of the pool as well. So you know, we'll see tomorrow. It's the night before. I'm expecting them out tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, but they're going to do some backfill of the pool. Uh, they are going to start framing for concrete for the pavilion. And the guys who are building the pavilion, the pavilion has uh, six load-bearing posts. They're going to dig footers for those. I'm also meeting very soon with the stonemason who's going to build the fireplace in the pavilion. So we're going to locate that uh, and figure that all out on Monday. So today is it's Wednesday night. But, um, you know, they're back. It's been, uh, I guess they were just here yesterday. So not many days go by where you don't see work. So let me uh, walk you around, show you the gas line. And then I'm gonna keep the intro here short because they'll be back tomorrow working. And I wanna get good footage of them uh, operating equipment and really making progress. So let's go check it out. Okay, here is where they trenched um, for gas line. You can see the gas meter right there. Gas is gonna come out and it's gonna follow the trench around to the pool. One of the things they did run into, and we knew this was gonna happen, we weren't quite certain where the uh, drain lines were for the uh, downspouts. So they obviously got those with the uh, excavator, but they brought in extra pipe with them. They have fit everything back together. I've got good functioning drains. So they took care of that as soon as it happened. But as we walk around, you can see the trench coming around to the back. Um, you know, nothing fancy about the trench somewhere to put the gas line. They will bring it around and it will meet up with the pool right here at the corner. From here, they can run the gas line in the same area that they're running uh, water and electric around the pool. So I'm not gonna spend more time talking about that. That's how we got the gas line back here. That was the big um, progress they made yesterday. Tomorrow, I'm expecting the backyard here is going to change. Let's do a a quick look around here. My expectation, and I may be completely wrong here, but my expectation is they're going to move a lot of dirt, a lot of gravel. They're going to backfill this thing, and we're going to see a much uh, more natural grade coming off the pool. Keep in mind, we're putting four inches of concrete, and I think two, right around two inches of paver on top of that. So the dirt's not going to come to the top. We're going to have about six inches below the level of the pool um, for concrete and pavers. But um, you know, I'm not gonna keep talking about it. We're gonna see it happening tomorrow and uh, I'll share it with you then. So we'll get out of here and uh, look forward to seeing them tomorrow. So we got a lot going on back here today. We've got uh, the company that's gonna install the pavilion is here. They've got the auger. They're gonna be uh, digging holes to set footers for the uh, load bearing post for the pavilion. Um, we've got a decent amount of uh, slope off this end of the pool between the pool and the pavilion. So the guys are bringing in uh, a lot of gravel and comp uh, compactable material 
they've got the plate compactor going through, really uh, smoothing this out, getting it ready. Um, as you look around the pool, they've come in here and here they come with another load. They dumped, uh, I don't know, good size dump truck full of material out in the street. So they're making trips back and forth to uh, bring the materials back here. You can see where they dumped stuff before, but uh, the other day they dug in the gas line on the side of the house. They can no longer get a truck back here to dump materials. So they're having to bring it back here a scoop at a time, but they make uh, pretty quick work of it back and forth with that uh, skid steer. So, other thing we're gonna see, the guy that builds the pavilion, he's getting ready to lay out uh, all the pavilion uh, corners so we know where everything's gonna go. But uh, somewhere under there, they had marked electrical. Electrical is no longer uh, visible. So there's a few posts he's gonna have to hand dig because he does not wanna get into electrical. You know, everything on the outside of that trench is safe, but inside we've got electrical. So uh, he's gonna lay it out and uh, we've put together a couple good diagrams so he knows he's got the actual blueprints. Um, I put together some details on you know where things are supposed to be. So they just keep uh, moving along here. back out front we got guys lined up up and down the street we got the pavilion guy out here we got the gas guy they're putting in our gas line um, we're about to get another truckload of uh, compactable material we got trailers we got lots of people here lots going on good stuff guys continue to make progress right now they're measuring triangulating and squaring up the pavilion to the pool so we had looked at this and uh, the front edge of the pavilion is 10 feet from the pool so by setting that post they're going to be able to 
use that as a known location to locate the rest of the building. That helps them understand where all that plumbing is going, where the electrical needs to come in. You can see the yellow gas line coming around the pool. The guys have dropped that in the trench and we may go down and take a closer look at it. They've also run a uh, small yellow wire with it. If you've ever had work done and you've had to call 811, call before you dig, that wire helps them locate where lines are so that when they're digging, they don't tear stuff up. So these guys are working through locating everything. They continue to bring in material to build up where the pavilion is going. Um, it's just, it's coming along. These guys, this is what they do every day. And uh, man, they make fast work at it. You can tell they're used to working together. The trucks just keep showing up out front, dumping dirt. The various contractors that have different roles, whether it's the uh, pavilion guys, whether it's the gas line, you know, they're all in here knowing what they're supposed to do. I was up here on the roof watching when the guy, the, the plumber showed up and I was directing him on where the gas line goes. He disappeared and he came back a few minutes later. He's on his phone. He looks up at me and goes, who are you? Told him I'm the homeowner. I don't think he was expecting the homeowner to be out on the roof barking directions. You know, this is, this is, this is just kind of how I am. Um, I trust Jim and his team. They absolutely know what they're doing. Um, they're doing a great job. But there's a lot of detail that I thought through about how this pavilion fits together with uh, the pool, where my electrical panel is going inside of it, what I'm going to do inside that closet, where I'm putting shelving, where I'm doing other things. So it's important to me that we end up with the utilities coming into that building in the right places. So I'm, uh, I'm more checking in, not telling the guys how to do their job, just making sure that we're all on the same page of uh, what, what's going on. And uh, the guys have been absolutely great to work with. Um, they're, they're doing a heck of a job. I have a hard time sitting at my desk. I'd rather be out here on the roof watching these guys work and watching the progress on this pool. I know some might like to come back at the end of the day, every day after work, and see all the progress. I like to see how the sausage is made, so I'm out here in the thick of it. All right, they're out here, pretty much have the gas line buried. They were able to do a virtual inspection, something I didn't realize was possible, but they laid down the gas line called it in, played video, uh, you know, basically a FaceTime video of them, uh, of the trench, and they were able to get approval. The trench was good, gas line was good, and now they're uh, burying it in, so that is good. concrete deck on this side so guys are uh, leveling it up making sure that it's going to uh, our water is going to flow away from the pool so we don't want stuff washing into the pool but uh, we're going to get a good sense for what the deck's going to look like when they're done today so one of the big things that's happening today is the setting of the uh, the forms for where the pavilion is going. So one of the great things is the guys that are building the pavilion were uh, recommended by Moore Brothers. 
So they're used to working together. They've coordinated and made sure that, uh, you know, as more brothers move forward and they're getting, um, oh, they're going through their phases that they're involving the contractor at the same time. So part of what they had to do here was locate exactly where the pavilion would sit. They're digging uh, for concrete piers. So when they pour the deck for the pool, they will also, or not for the pool, for the pavilion, they will also pour uh, these concrete piers. A lot of loose material. It makes it a little tough for digging if the uh, auger wants to dance around on him, as opposed to uh, you know, when you're getting into good solid dirt, it's gonna bite and just dig. But it's dancing around on him a little. Getting down into the into the ground out of that loose material, it should bite and go pretty good now. All right, this is day two of uh, forming up for concrete, backfilling around the pool. Um, you can see they're really coming along. This thing's taking shape. You see what they're working on over there right now. We've got a pretty significant change in grade um, from the back of the house out to the other side of the pool and out to the edge of the yard. So they've got a decent amount of backfill that they're doing with uh, compactable material so that they can build the pavilion out there and uh, you know have it roughly level with the pool um, there'll be some slope to it to run water out of the pavilion to run water away from the pool so several things going on but they've brought in uh, looks like two by twelves to uh, give them something to stack material against to um, to build that form so lots going on you can see the six uh, round forms that are in place for holding the pavilion and uh you know we'll go down and look at more stuff a little closer don't know how easily you can see it from here but they've put in uh bonding all the way around the pool bonded to some wire mesh uh they framed up over here where our flower bed's gonna go but um it just continues to progress and uh you know looking more and more like what it's going to be when it's finished so um we'll go down to the ground where we can walk around look at things closely and uh really show you what's going on all right the transformation this thing is making in the last couple of days is pretty awesome um i mean you can see the number of guys they've got working on this today and these guys have just been going at it um Everybody's got a role. Everybody seems to know what they're doing. One of the things Jim has said to me a couple times is you know, he tries to keep people doing the same job over and over. That you know, the guys who formed up the sides here, put the, the framing together, most of them are not here. They've moved on to do another framing job. So 
the guys are doing the same job over and over. They know what they're doing. I'm guessing these guys are framing and backfilling for concrete all the time. So they know what they're doing. Um, as you look around, you can see we got patio all the way out to the pool. And as you come in here, we're gonna have patio that goes over there to the house. Flower bed right here against the house where we can uh, plant some stuff. Flower bed over there. This is where I was talking. They've put this metal fencing in the concrete um, and it's all bonded to the pool. Everything metal is bonded to the pool. Um, all your electrical is bonded, connected back to the mechanicals, which are connected to the, uh, the electrical panel for the house. Uh, so everything in the, in the house is grounded or not in the house around the pool is grounded. Um, so you look around here, you can see here, they've put in the supports for the diving board. It's grounded coming on around. You've got, uh, Right there's where our ladder is coming out. Uh, those will be in the concrete, so our ladder fits in there and is secure. And again, bonded. Looking further down, we've got the uh, the mounts for the basketball hoop, also bonded. So everything metallic around the pool is bonded to prevent any kind of electrical shock. But. Uh, yeah, you look at this, it is really coming together. What they've done at the other end to build that up for the pavilion, you know, nice, big, smooth, flat pad that they'll be able to pour on and build the pavilion on. Um, trying to stay out of their way. They got a lot going on there, but uh, lots of measuring, lots of double checking, but it's coming together. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close out stage five and six. Um, Everything is framed up for, formed up for concrete, ready to go. Um, we're just waiting on them to come in and, and do the pour. They're gonna pour in two steps. They're gonna pour the pavilion first, and then on a separate day, they'll pour the rest of the pool. But uh, it's a big enough pour that they don't wanna tackle it all in a single day. So um, with that, we're gonna wrap it up. Thanks for joining. Keep in mind, outdoors is always in season. And uh, as this thing progresses, we'll get you another update.